Would you like to say that again? Get this show on the road. We're ten minutes late. Okay. I hope you feel better about that. Mm. It's easy, man. Just press the start button. <laughs> it would be easy, but I've got so many start buttons to hit. It's pretty crazy. But it actually looks like we have begun here. Yeah, do I hear a microwave in the background? <sighs> You'll probably hear it again here shortly. <laughs> uh, boy, a tail being sick. Mm. Yes, I'm going to do this sick tonight. <sighs> I can't even give a good intro. But I'm going to try. Me. Yeah, I know. I would say for the smoothest intro. <clears throat> yeah, I can't even do that. Let's just go ahead and break it on in. Uh -huh. yeah. <sighs> you always know it's going to be a bad show when it starts off. Yeah, really like, like you just ain't into it. Uh, I woke up sick today. Well, not even really sick, but just sinuses. And they have had me jacked up all day long. I was going to postpone this, but I feel like I've done that too much here in the past with some other things going on. So I said the show must go on. So here we go. You know what you need right about now, ST? What do I need? You need a nice big fat blunt. Man, I tell you what, that would cure, that would cure what was going on. Or at least choke me the hell up, one of the two, but mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to carry on as far as I can with things. But with that being said, take it away, Mark. All right. What's up, folks? Um, real quick, I think it's Bob. Bob, you're a little creepy tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Who is he wants to know if I'm willing to sell one of my used, torn up T-shirts that I wear on my body. How much is he willing to pay for it? I don't know. Hopefully a couple million. Uh, we got the... the Zeus sub-ohm tank on top of the whatever. I forgot the name of it, but yeah, using that. And we're pretty pot-heavy tonight. We actually got some good pot systems for once. The Aspire, whatever it's called. The... not sure what that's called. It's nice and powerful, though. And they got this hunk of shit that I'm still using, the wow. uh, zip, zippity doo -dah. Why do you keep using it week after week if it's such a piece of crap? He's not using it. I can't. I use it like once a day. It just sucks so bad that I can't use it for a full day. And then we got the BTFC with the <laughs> WWVVX version 2, whatever it's called, from Dovepo. Yep. And then Juices, we got some of the Puerto Rican Surprise from <laughs> Batman. And then we got some cloud chemist, and then in the pod systems, I got some of the fourteen milligram pistache. Thank you. Take it away, Mr. Michael Vapes. Good evening, Sid, Greg, Chat, Steve. All right, what are we vaping on tonight? We got the Blotto or Blotto on the Druga Foxy. Some splash slush. What am I vaping on? Slush in there? Where is it? I don't know. I lost the bottle. I'm vaping on the slush stuff in there. I'm also vaping on the Rebirth RTA and a double barrel. We got some uh, Apple Sill or Window Sill inside there. Uh, also vaping on the Faro Mechanical Mod Rebirth RDA. Uh, I forgot what liquid I had in here. chubby raz inside that uh what else we're also vaping on the uh legend and the uh, zeus sub ohm tank and we have strawberry macaroonies inside there the lady did i cover all my stuff yeah i think that's it then pods i'm also vaping on that uh the new aspire um breeze i think it's called the nxt i think it's pretty nice did a good job with this one. Uh, vaping on that. I have some uh, a Psy Berry from Ghost Stick in there. And, oh, a little MTL action. I almost forgot about this one, too. Another one here. Vaping on the uh, Aladdin MTL. And I got it on an old school Joytech Evic mod. Single 18650. Dude, that is way old school. I don't know that, but that display, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is amazing. 
it was ahead of its time. Raping on that inside here, we got some Venus, right? Venus, mm -hmm. some Venus inside that, or do I have a Nilla Killer? I think I got both in here. I think by mistake I mixed them together. It's pretty good. That's it. Take it away, STs. <laughs> I like how we plural that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm gonna keep it simple because that's the way I am. Caliber and desalt. Uh, you have some minor sinus congestion, and you're acting like you got like flu or something. No, nah, it's more than that. And then on top of that, I am completely worn out. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. I guess here's the difference. I work every day, and you don't work at all. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe something like that. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's my fault, buddy. Anyway. <laughs> so, yes, it has got me very, very drained at the moment. <sighs> Literally drained. But, uh, yeah, I haven't really been uh, hitting any of the big stuff today. Not too much. Even though I have been enjoying Batman's Juice. And I don't mean to rub that up in anybody's face because I know there is somebody on this panel that's still yet to have their stuff. And I think when he gets it now, he's just going to give it away. <laughs> so, but Mark, have you tried any new flavors out yet, even though you're not supposed to be trying anything? I've been, uh, I've been vaping the uh, cream cheese pastry, flaky pastry. Ooh, what do you think about that one? So far, so good. So I got three out of three. Well, hold on. You say good so far. Oh, you're going to see well, a lot of this tonight, too. Huh? Well, Go ahead. The, uh, huh? The uh, oh, what the fuck is it? The eggnog one. I'm still debating because sometimes it's good, and then sometimes I'm getting like a big red chewing gum taste off of it. I don't understand how you could get yeah. something like that, but I'm getting that that red cinnamon taste, and then sometimes I don't get it. It's really sensitive to like the wattage, the power you run it at. Yeah, I've been enjoying the coquito. This one here, yeah? <laughs> I'm pretty spot on. <laughs> it's probably my favorite so far. I'm still just down to actual two. But, uh, yeah, good so far. I haven't had, uh, I haven't had any packages this week. How about y'all? Other than, uh, other than pod systems, has anything hit? Hell yeah. Pod system for me. That's it? Just pod systems? For me, yeah. I don't know about Mike. Well, Mike, you never know what Mike. Mike might have. I actually got an RDTA. Holy shit. Really? From who? Or can you say? It's a version three. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Uh, uh, Andy, no, I did not get the e-liquid line. When I do get the e-liquid line, I might just list it on hit that juice and sell them. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> We've been joking about that here quite a bit. Oh, I, I, uh, what did I get this week? Did I even get this this week? The next, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, God, Breeze. I think it's called the Breeze, right? I was going to ask this okay. question. Breeze NXT. Okay. Even if you name it NXT, GT, whatever you're going to put on the tail end of it. Obviously, it's a version three because there's two predecessors. Uh, I, I I mean, is it worth having a version three to this or not? They're just going after the name, name recognition for it. Okay, because it is better than all the other ones that they've made. Okay, it is good, but I think they're just throwing in breeze. You know how it is. I, I do. I just was on the name, a successful name. You know, did the previous ones have that same airflow style with that little? Nope. We this is the first time this has been done. Yeah, Something so. like this. This is awesome. They've made this to where you don't even have to take to fill it. You don't got to take the pot out to do the airflow. You don't have to do anything. The only time you're going to remove this pot out of here is when you need to change the coil. Hmm. Yeah, it is really nice. I know it. Uh, Lance, yes, you are correct, Lance. You win tonight. 
Oh yes, you you definitely. You don't even have to wait till the end. You've got yep, this. One. It's the Pyro V3 from Van de Vader. <laughs> RDTA. That's what it is. Uh, Max. Well, I didn't. I got a lot of this stuff last week. This week, I don't think I. What did I get? For this week, it's only one day. I got uh, something from Vaporesso. I got it over there somewhere. Some pod thing. Yeah. I did see uh, Stan's premiere. I think it was yesterday on the uh, new eighteen three fifty Dreamer. He's got yeah. coming out with the constant contact button. Seemed pretty interesting. Uh, I don't typically do like mouth to lung stuff on a mech, but uh, I could see for a lot of people that want that real compact look. Uh, even though it's kind of like at that point to where I know there's a lot of people out there I think that's going to like that, but I also think there's a lot of people that might look at it as. Well, damn! Now I got to stock up on eighteen three fifty batteries, but I don't know if that's really something. I mean, dude, I'm all down for an eighteen six fifty device. There's so many small eighteen six fifty devices I can throw an MTL tank on it. Yeah, but it's cool. Uh, I actually have. He made it to fit these batteries, which it's like impossible to find. Yeah, but I actually have two of them because I kept. The, one of the devices that iJoy had made. So I got two of them so I could try these batteries out. I actually ordered uh, two uh, 18350s. I don't even have any 18350s. I ordered, uh, I think it's called uh, Keep Power, something like that. Mm -hmm. 18350s. I bought them from, uh, what's that battery site? Aluminum? Aluminum or something like that. Aluminum. Yeah. Lumen. Yeah, out of uh, California. Uh, just for people in chat, I know it's called Blotto. I like saying Bloto, Bluto, Blotto. It's just part of the routine, man. Relax. <laughs> I know how to pronounce it. Uh, and uh, Intake Duel, someone asked about Intake Duel. Uh, I should have uh, maybe in like oh, two weeks presentation video. That'll be cool to see. Uh, let me handle my business real quick here. Are you asking about a MTL sub ohm tank or an MTL RTA um, HJ? Do -do 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 -do. No. Yes, I found uh, all the PMTAs. Thank you, uh, Eddie. Uh, I I don't know if Tenacious is asking me that. If I got a nine amp or a ten amp, nine or ten. It's the same exact thing. Uh, I'm actually vaping on uh, right now. I got a 0.88 build inside here, and 19 watts that I'm running it at. I'm I'm getting uh, 4.6 amps putting on there. Now, what is a, a 0.88 going to run on a mech in the wattage? It's 0.1s, 0.88, 0.1 around there. Be fine. Nine or ten amp. Yeah, it's just again. I mean, there's, some, there's some pretty small eighteen six fifty mech mods. I wonder how much smaller the eighteen three fifty is going to be. So why didn't it, I mean why eighteen why not make it a uh, one of these batteries an eighteen five hundred? Eighteen yeah, four ninety five uh my small batteries. Yeah. Well, I like it. It's pretty. It's pretty small. I, I know for myself that. Uh, I don't know. I, it's just I like the cosmetics to it, but the the actual function to it is just something I don't know how often I would use something like that. But I'm certain there's a crowd out there that yeah. probably dying uh, to get their hands. Oh, I understand what Stan meant. He didn't know if it was. He couldn't remember if it's nine or ten. I got you. Yeah, I'm not sure. To the nine or ten, I don't remember. I I looked at so many different stats that, and then I just I decided to get those. I think I see. Don't you have them? I could have sworn that's what you were using. No. Uh, got a question. Has anyone on the panel used a Watofo ultrasonic cleaner? Just wondering if it's worth the fifty dollar price tag. I have not used that. 
Which one? Uh, with Tofo? I didn't even realize they had one. It's got to be some uh, aftermarket. You want, you want a good ultrasonic cleaner? I did a video. I think Mark might have done one, too. Yep. I have it on my other channel, the Mike Life channel. I did reviews for the ultrasonic cleaners. And that one, the one that the whole basket, the whole thing detaches off it, that's, I retired my old one that I was using for about four or five years. Finally been retired. I've been using that one. And it's so convenient to be able to just lift that up and bring it over to the sink and dump out the water and rinse it without having to unplug anything. And that one is really super quiet, too. Yeah, it's awesome. Man. The well, the well Tofo one, I haven't tried it. I'm looking at it on their site, even though it's just like a, you know, rebranded whatever. It looks, it actually looks pretty nice, but I've never used it, so I can't really say on it. But uh, Adrian, all you got to do is go like on uh, eBay or uh, Amazon and just look up, uh, look up, uh, what do you call it? Uh, blunt tip syringes. That's all you got to do to find it. Uh, what up? Oh, we, had a, we had celebrities in chat tonight. Do what? No. Oh. I didn't know we had some celebrities out there tonight. We've always got celebrities in chat. They always love to come over and, I guess, watch a real show for once. Uh, <laughs> uh, what else have we got going on? I think I've, I owned it in my entire life. I've only owned one 18350 mech mod I reviewed like decades ago. Dude. I've never had one. Uh, someone said that ultrasonics are unnecessary. Uh, I don't think so. They clean up everything real nice. I like them. They, they, plus, they like fine clean the spots that you can't get to with like a toothbrush or something. Exactly. Uh, someone also asked when is the next video on the Mike Life channel. Actually, I'm gonna, doing a video on these headphones right here. They're bone go. conduction headphones. And go in your they sit right there. And you can hear everything through your bone, buddy. That's crazy. Yep. Uh, yeah, I've got one device, and it's not even a mech, even though it looks kind of like a mech, but I've got one device, but I've never owned the 18350 battery. And that was that Enikin one I bought ages ago. One of my first devices, the, uh, oh, God, I can't even think of the name of it now. The one that had the DNA-20 in it. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot the name of it, too, actually. Yeah, but that one, you could you could do 18650 or 18, I think it was 18350s in it. I don't remember. Why are you looking at your old videos? I'm trying to look at the name of that mod that I reviewed a long time ago. I, I used to love the mech mods that would come with the additional rings to where you could change it from 18350, 18490, 18650. That way, giving the user the option to use whatever batteries they want. <laughs> I, I, I don't have a clue who this is, but... <laughs> I love you, Troll A. Well, whoever, whoever you are behind that, even if that's you, I, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, we got everybody coming out tonight. Dan, did I do something to piss somebody off here lately to get a little yeah. action? Because I haven't had any really anything going on here lately. Uh clean all my addies and guns and them all the time there you go i believe the mod was called the la petite or the le petite or yeah the le the la petite from i don't know version two but they look pretty cool though when you put like a a small tank or something on top of them they actually look really cool looks wise they look really awesome well now i gotta say this i know that like I said, the presentation video that Stan did. Now, he has some pretty cool stuff set up on there. His mouth along the RTA sitting on there. Again, I like some of those kind of stealthy little setups, but I just don't know, you know, myself if that's something that I would use on a regular or just, you know, pick up the typical stuff that I've been picking up. But uh, I got to say, surprisingly... 
I'm kind of, I'm really hooked on this thing right here. This freaking desalt thing. It's a, it's large kind of, but it's, I, I don't know, the vape off of it's been pretty damn good. I'm assuming it has pretty good battery life because it's pretty big. Or yeah, not? definitely. And that's, I think, another thing. And, and it's something that, I mean, I would take it out, but like just sitting here, like at the computer or whatever, because I, you know me, I like to use my pod systems in here. You know, it's like perfect for, you know. Uh, where is. Uh, we just had a severe thunderstorm warning issued. So, if things get crazy here, might as well. If everything's going to happen, it's going to happen tonight. What is that, Mike? This is a 18350 mod, and it becomes an 18650 mod. Yeah, that's it's got a MOSFET, and it's strictly for MTL vaping. And this is the fire button right here on the side. Just press it, and it fires. Is that that mod where if you turn it to an 18350, it becomes a bottom fire, or no? Or is it still a side fire? No, I think it's still a side fire. Okay. Now, vaping this right now. 0.88 build, it's weaker than 19 watts. Where I like it on a regular regulated mod, it's a 19 watts. It vapes beautiful for me. On here, this 0.88 vapes horrid for me, my style for MTL. Now, is that button configuration anything similar to the uh, Bestia, or is it something completely different? That's a good question. I don't really look inside the tool. Let me look and see. I was curious if they kind of like copy that a little bit or. No, it actually touches what you can see in there. Oh, there's that. Okay. Yeah. All the way on the top back here where my finger is. When I press it, let's see if it'll focus. It touches that piece back there. I got you. Okay. It touches the mouse. Gotcha. That's Mm. Super glue held to my my button. I had this on my shelf so ever since I bought it, and then when I went to go pick it up, the button fell off. I had to super glue it back on. Hmm. That's but, what that is. I'm vaping on the Luxon. The Luxon. My ambition mods, not ambition vapor. Ambition mods. Yeah, I was kind of shocked that the uh, button fell off that bestia like that. I mean, for, again, a price tag on something like that, you really wouldn't expect that to happen. But I guess yeah, it's, it's glued on, too. I'm like, I was uh, shocked that it was uh, What else we got going on? I'm gonna uh, if you got Cheeto's feet, contact Brian, TBC. He'll help you out. Most Believe definitely. You. Uh, someone's asking. Uh, yeah, Tenacious, I have a round wire cantho build inside here. 0.88. I don't know Leo to say that. Leo's saying bestie as shit if that happened. I, I mean, that, their stuff is nice, but I, that's where I couldn't quite grip my mind around it because I had one, but I did get rid of it. But for a mech lover, you know. It feels good. I mean, it's threads are like awesome on it, but I was a little shocked that that happened. Yeah, it is a nice mod. I was look at his I was shocked too. Like, yeah. I mean, I could understand if I was using it all the time, but I never used the damn thing, and it just fell off. I'm like son of a bitch. As as cool as that thing was, I kind of thought it might inspire me to use Max a little bit more than what I typically do. But I only used it for a little while and then quit using it, so I guess that didn't do that's, the trick. <laughs> that's how it is every time we buy Max. We're always like, "Oh man, that's I'm gonna start using Max." Yeah, and it just and never seems. Buy it, <laughs> you don't use it. Yeah. it. Happens all the time. Well, Max. Mm -hmm. uh, how about this? This thing. Good Whoa, Lord, am I? <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh yeah, baby. The King like, Tut. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, the Pharaoh. Look at this. Look at the fuck. Dude, that is fucking crazy looking. Is that a is that Chinese or is that like from somewhere fancy? High end Chinese. Oh, is it? Oh, is it high end? Wow. 
two hundred dollars price tag. Mm. Oh shit! Yeah. Twenty one hundred. Now, I mean, it's kind of got a cool look to it, I guess. But even though that, yeah, this is not for your everyday. Yeah, I was gonna say that doesn't look like it looks too comfortable in the hand, though. Depending on where you, how you hold it, you can find a comfortable spot. Yeah. It all depends on how you hold it. Like you don't want this. You got like a, this part here. Yeah, I got you. So it's just how do I have it? Like this. See, I have that piece here. You know, so it's I'm not I'm not touching. I got my thumb alongside that piece. So right there, I found that's my comfortable spot. So basically, the pharaoh staring at me when I'm holding it. There you go. I guess it's one of those uh, things, more or less, you might see on your shelf or something like that. I don't know, but uh, I can feel a sneeze creeping up, but I'm afraid to do it. Let it rip, son! Right into the microphone. Yeah, no, that's where I don't want to do it. Is there such thing as a high-end Chinese? Yeah, high-end does not mean has nothing to do with a country. You know what I'm saying? That's no, there's no such thing. Don't be fooled that it has to do with a country. High-end has nothing to do with a country. There's high-end in every country. It all depends on the product, you know? Well, I guess you got some of your buddies hopping in. Uh, yeah. Uh, Multiple accounts. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Someone's got much time on their hands. Yeah. What to me though? What makes high end high end? If it's not, if it's not the uh, where it comes from, like stainless is stainless. I mean, you know, like let's say you buy a stainless steel mech mod that's thirty dollars compared to three hundred dollars. Like, what, what makes something high end? Something that's not mass produced, and it's made of quality. So like. That's what high end is. Like the machining on it, probably. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Are there any? And are there any like high end Chinese made mods? I wonder. Yeah, Stan. Exactly. Well, that's the truth. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's the truth, though. <laughs> you know, what if some dude that lives in China? Is ma making these things handmade? Has a, maybe one machine? He's making them slowly, and the detail on this thing is just sick. That he's making this is oh, this is a solid piece of brass he made this out of, and this is not mass produced. So why? Because it's China. It's not high end. Yeah. Well, I think we've got we've got comfortable now. Anytime we say something like China, we just yeah. think. Uh, Cloudy Kiwi says high end is handmade in small batches. Not true. That is not true. That is not true. The majority of high end that's out there is not handmade. Maybe some high end handmade stab wood box. <clears throat> stuff like that. Wooden boxes, maybe. Some of this might be some stuff uh, that, you know, but. Not handmade, but then also I even, know, I even know which I'm not. I can't technically say, but I even know of high end companies that are getting all their stuff made in China, and they don't state that it's made in China. So I also think high end is different. Like something that's high end to me may not be high end to you. Something high end to ST may not be high end to me, so I don't know. I think it's it like, for example, uh, high end. If you think of it in this way, look at watches. What do you consider to be a high end watch, and why is it a high end watch? Well, let me speak there on that real quick because I do have a high end watch on. I mean, that is a, <laughs> that is an Apple Watch, so it's like very high end. <laughs> Anything over twenty five bucks is considered a high end watch for me. Yes. <laughs> like like Mark, I was so proud of Mark uh, the week he or the weekend he was on vacation because we were talking privately, and Mark said, "Look what I got." He held up a pair of Oakleys, 
and he spent some cash on them. And Mark never spends cash on sunglasses, and he 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 actually spent some money. So I'm like, look at this sucker right here. Out of all the cheap pair of wall of Walmart sunglasses I've bought, they've all added up to a pair of Oakleys. Yeah, really. But, like to me, that's high end. Like a pair of Oakley sunglasses is high end. To somebody else, they're like, "That's not high end. That's just basic." It's true. Thank you for the donation. I ain't said that in a while. Thank you for the donation, there, Black Hat White Face. ST's high end fun. Yes, <laughs> I'm got one going. I know there's a big uh, and Stan's a perfect one. Hell, he's even got a show on doing high end stuff. Uh, I think some of it's cool to look at. But I've just never been that person that was like, ooh, I got to have that right there. There's no question about I got to have it. Because I guess I'm more or less just that. Well, some people like to get that stuff, and then they like to be able to show it to people, look what I got, this hard-to-get item. Yeah. It cost me a pretty buck, but this was super hard-to-get, exclusive. Yeah. That's what high end's about. No? I guess because when I get stuff, I really want to... People like that. They're, the thrill of the chase. Exactly. Oh, I get it with that. Yep. I just am not that person. Uh, like, if I got something like that, I'm at a point now where I still treat it like it's any other mod that I pick up and use every day. And I can't do that, I don't guess. Or you don't want to do that with something. But It's a thing, though. I... Like, I like people that buy high-end or collectible stuff and use it like everyday stuff, not just put it on the wall or, you know, stash it away. Like, use it. Like, you paid that much money for it, use the damn thing. Yeah. Yep. That's the thing. A lot of stuff I buy, if I buy something that's very expensive, I just I don't really use it. I don't know why. Anyway, I just bought this. And uh, shout-out to uh, Tenacious TX because I saw Stan. Stan has one. He's got one of these, and I ordered one, and mine is just being shipped out right now. That's White Juma. What is that? It's a dual 18650 uh, Squonker. DNA 250C, made in the Philippines. Ooh, that looks sweet. And, uh, yeah. Here's a picture of it with a different face. I got it with carbon fiber faceplate. I got it with a regular black faceplate and a Juma faceplate. I got that, and this is the actual block when I had ordered it that I chose. They made it out of that block right there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yep. Now, how many times am I going to use it? We'll see. No. Will it end up on the shelf with everything else? Probably. Probably. Dual 18 650 Squonker is probably going to end up on the shelf since you don't like very large mods. Yeah, because you've already... I mean, hell, the haul you came back with from Houston, that stuff ain't even seen a battery in it yet, has it? Oh, no, I used <laughs> this one. Yeah. I got rid of the other one. The Stabwood one. Someone took it off my hands. Uh, thank you for the donation there, Charlie. Found you through GoFundMe. Here's some more for the high-end fun. Hashtag Corona Crew. Hashtag Trailer Park Boys. Is that <laughs> that is a good hashtag for you, Mark? Oh, I think Trailer Park Boys is already taken by yeah, but, the Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, but we need one in the vape community. So there you go. <laughs> uh, Oh, I'm seeing some pretty creative. <laughs> wanted to buy it off me. <laughs> oh no! Uh, yeah, I've seen the mag. I've actually uh, I saw stands. I had it in my hand. I was like, when I saw it, I had it in my hand. I was like, oh, I need this. And uh, I contacted the. I actually got the lady's name. I think off of uh, the show. I think uh, Tenacious um, in, during his show on the high end vape form. I think mentioned the lady's name or someone put it in chat. I can't remember. I looked her up on Facebook, messaged her, well, got it all set. And, uh, yeah, can't wait. I should have it in my hands any day now. Uh, Jay Jerry says, did you see the 40-watt, oh, hold on one second, 40-watt Falcon Pod with ceramic coils? Mike, don't you have that? Say it again. 
I was reading Johnny's uh, donation. Oh, well, hold on before I read Johnny's donation. Jay Jerry said, did you see the 40-watt Falcon pod with ceramic coils? And didn't you have, didn't you get that? No, that's the one that we, we saw a picture of it, and you actually thought that Mark had one. Wasn't it you? I don't know. I don't remember now. But, uh, was it Felix was show- talking about it? I can't remember. But no, they haven't released those yet. Okay. Uh, thank you for the donation there, Mr. Johnny Drips. The term high end is completely subjective. The argument will go will go on forever for this reason. Uh, there's very expensive mods made in China that people have no clue. Buy what you like. Terms mean nothing. There you go. Totally agree. Totally agree. Yeah. By the way, quick shout out to my boy, uh, Mr. Mooch. Guy in my mind. Whew. <laughs> yeah. You're my boy. I had to think of your name, but you're my boy. <laughs> uh, no, my my wife does not vape at all. Not at all. Uh, wow. That Falcon looks pretty cool. Look who just showed up now. I thought I heard a little Mexican music playing, but I didn't know if that was coming from Mark's side. Yeah. Or- or what, but there's fogging out with the Batman. What's going on, brother? I could have swore I heard Batman say that if Mike didn't have the juices by Tuesday, he was going to hand deliver them. No, I heard. I heard. Batman, I got him, baby. Thank you. I heard Batman say if he didn't have them by Monday, because he said it on the show Sunday, if he didn't have them by Monday, he was going to he was going to drive them to Mike. And here we are, Tuesday evening, getting late. Yeah. Better get driving. <sighs> yeah. Got to give this man a hard time, though. But uh, definitely go check out ENB for his new line. I'm sure you will not be disappointed at all. <laughs> oh, there's nothing but love there, son. Thank you, Vape Boy. You fucking. I know you ain't calling someone Kool Aid guy. <laughs> this fucking pole smoker. Damn. You ain't holding back tonight, are we? You actually have been holding back tonight. I've been holding back. All the troll comments in chat? Yeah. Well, I mean, which show? You gotta have trolls on a show. I mean, it just they go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Like peanut butter and jelly, baby. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> like my runny nose and toilet paper. I am vaping on the cream cheese there. Thank you, Batman. Can't pronounce it, but uh, yeah. you give it a shot. Let's let's hear it. Like your life depended on it, and you had to pronounce this correctly on the first go. Conita de queso. Sounds right, doesn't it? Let's get the. Uh, let's see how bad Batman says you butchered that up. And this one isn't as sweet as the other two I had. This one's actually a bit milder in the sweet department. There you go. Yes, they are, Batman. Trolls are very funny. It's it's even a little funnier when they get banned out of here. Because then they have to... (laughs) What? I can't hate on trolls because I troll too, so... Yep. Well, it's just fun when you when you ban them. Then they have to like go into their next account, and that one gets banned, and then they go to their next account because it ain't nothing but a click of a switch over here. Uh, I was pretty close. There it is. Uh, who were the trolls? Oh, do we know any of them? I don't know any of them. I, I think it's my dude. <laughs> uh, where are all the hookers, Meth Mike? <laughs> Damn. It's porn stash. Yeah. I love that. I, I was just not. I think I've seen that name out there floating before. Yep. I haven't seen uh, ST's hip lately, and there's been a few others that's gone into missing. <laughs> Steve, okay. I've been yelling at Steve a lot lately. I gave him the night off. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, 
Oh gosh. <laughs> exactly, Batman. Batman, if if there's anything you want to do, you ain't hurt my feelings. You will hurt my feelings, though. But be careful. Ooh. Yeah, I was kind of hoping. Uh, I was kind of hoping to see something different. Even though I can't believe I'm about to say this again, but other than some pods maybe floating around, but oh, there's nothing really. Yeah. I'm actually looking forward to uh, that Squonk mod, the one from Tony B. I don't know when that's happening. The one that, the one you just showed me, ST? Yes. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we Damn. Go. What's up, Tony it's Hernandez? Coming. The other day, it thundered so loud that I was sitting here doing something at the desk, and I fucking just jumped. <laughs> That's how loud the fucking thing was. I felt it, it like hit me. The vibration it must have been very close. Wherever the strike was, I've, thunder, lightning. I've got a little path between my monitors right here and a window. Right, man, it just lit up real quick. I knew it was about to hit. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to that mod. Other than that, I really don't know of, of other stuff. You know, uh, the dyadic looks sweet. Yep, it does. It looks nice. Yeah, I had uh, when we were just before we went live. He just threw up a video on something, and uh, I guess he's using an older version of it before they came up with the final version. And I could see it in his hand a little bit better compared to some of the pictures I've seen. It, mm -hmm. it it looks interesting. I yeah. you know. I think they made a couple of changes. Yeah, that's what he was. I heard him saying that. Uh. Also. The. Uh, he keeps on saying though that he's been working on it since 2017. I don't know why he's stressing that. Constantly. I see that's what I I feel because I could easily say it right now. The side fill thing was just a recent thing. Because I've I've known what he's and that mod looks <coughs> like the one he was working on in two thousand seventeen. So. I did notice he made that comment on there and I was kinda like yeah, it's like It's not the first time I've been hearing it a lot. Yeah. Seeing him writing that up. I'm like, why is he doing that? Why I don't get it. Uh He's been working on it for a while, but that's not what it looked like back then. Not at all. Not even the filling system. The filling system is a total new thing. Yeah. That was that. Yeah. Bring, bring, the bring it on. Bring it on. I just hope if y'all see something crazy happen, like me just sitting here frozen, you know that the power is gone. But uh, the look of the mod, though, it's fucking, I love the way it looks. It looks sexy. I never got one, but I, I thought that the, uh, from just what I've seen, I, I thought the swell looked pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that one, Mark? The swell. And that was his van. He only knows pots. Well, Mark got one from him at uh, New oh, York. From, Are you, yeah, I haven't used it yet. Damn. I've been so knee deep in pod systems. You ain't just thought to break it out just to try it? I did break it out. I used a, I didn't use the tank that it came with, though. And it was actually pretty nice. But it's sitting on my desk. I haven't used it. Gotcha. This pod system, though, this Oculate, whatever the hell it is, this thing is so nice. Like, it's really powerful. Who is it made of? I think it's the name of the company, Oculate. And it's called, like, the... Ocula. What is it called? I doesn't say Ocula. Or, no, not Ocula. Then what's it <laughs> What is it called? Just show it, just show it again. You you pulled it away too no, soon. Yeah, no, but I have the box that has the company's name on it. Where the fuck did I put the box? I like pod systems that have a little bit of a kick to them. Like, they have power. Yeah, that's why I like the caliber. I yep, love the exactly. fucking power. From that. Yeah. So I think it's the company name. Oh, this, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've, I think they did message me about that. Yeah, it's actually really... 
It's There's nice. a good axe to know to them. I've been rejecting so many pods. It's disgusting. It looks like like it would be garbage, but I was pretty shocked how, how powerful it is. I don't know about y'all. I'm not trying to change subject here, but I guess it just kind of hit me because of what's about to happen outside. Today here, it hit 98 degrees with a heat index of 114 degrees. When I walked outside today, I swear to God, it felt like a furnace was just blasting me in the face. We got some crazy ass heat going on here right now. Global warming. Dude, I, it's so hot out, you don't even want to vape outside. I mean, it's it's nasty. Was that the temperature, or was that what it feels like? Well, the, the actual temperature was 98, but the heat index, which is what it feels like on you, was 114. Holy fucking shit, that's hot. Um, I did not get your used panties that you sent me, uh, Ruru. Bloomy or Row Row Bloomy, whoever the fuck that is. Uh, stop being a pussy. Fagan, send me the bulk, or are you just scared? What a real. I don't even know what, who that is. Oh, look who that is. Well, take care of it. Is that a real person or is that another troll? It's probably a troll. Take care of it. Um, if somebody out there would like to review the bulk, you're more than welcome to purchase it off the many websites that have it available at the moment. Yep. Nope. Uh, Element Vape. E ciggity, there's a whole bunch of them. Yep. You know what? We got a few minutes. I don't even give a shit anymore. I really don't. I'd like to know how some people feel just because they hop online here and reach out to others that they feel that they're just supposed to be handed something and not purchase it. I was just going to say that, like, it seems like. The minute you upload a video to YouTube, you they automatically think that you should start handing shit to them. Yeah. Like, don't put any work to your channel. Don't give it any time. The first video goes out, bam. Start sending me shit. Because, again, I know for a fact it, it, it took a very long time before uh, companies were reaching out to me at all for anything. And now it's like... You got a few subs on your channel, and maybe somebody sent you a bottle of juice or something like that, and all of a sudden you feel entitled that mm -hmm. everything is supposed to be sent to you, and yep. nobody wants to work for this shit anymore. They want it for free. So, yep. I find that uh, very amusing. It's actually pretty goddamn funny now because people are literally going on their channels, it seems like, I guess, to cry about this shit now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hashtag team free shit. Yeah. Yes. So. The entitlers. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it provides a lot of folks entertainment, though. It's it's kind of fun to watch. But if you can't afford to buy a, a a vape product to review. This is the way I see it. You have no business being a reviewer. You should be looking for a new job. A job. Yeah. You should be working. You know. That's the way I see it. I work. I worked my ass off. No. Maybe I worked my ass off when I was when I had a job other than what I'm doing now. And when I started my channel, I was buying everything. I spent fuck I don't know. I've spent, I don't know between almost twenty thousand dollars in vape products. I was buying. I was just buying everything. It you know? it just it wasn't. It was because I was obsessed with it and I wanted to do videos to show everybody what I was getting. No. You know? And then when it does happen, when someone contacts... I remember, when, like I've said this story so many times, I'm just sick of saying it. But I remember the first time I got contacted by a company. I think it was Coilmaster. It was the Coilmaster or that company Angel Sigs. Remember Angel Sigs? Yep. They sold the really, really cheap stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember which one it was, but one of them contacted me. And I was like, oh, shit. No. All right, I didn't know this is the way it works. All right. They wanted to send me something for review. I was like, well, all right, fuck it, send it. <laughs> it's, it'll save me some money. I probably would have bought it anyway. You know? But uh, nowadays, Jesus. I mean, no offense to anyone. I ain't trying to knock on anybody, but you have people that yeah. will put up a video 
and think that they're entitled to, oh, I put up a video on this product, so I should be, I'm a reviewer. You know, I should be getting everything everybody else gets. You know what's even, oh, you know what's even funnier is that a lot, and they get pissed. a lot of people that like watch shows like this have spent probably as much money as we have and they just enjoy watching the show but since they spent that money i mean i don't see them running around saying they feel entitled to have for companies to send them stuff they just buy the shit because they want it if your content is good and your channel is good enough trust me people will contact you and ask yeah you contact them and if nobody's contacting you chances are you're doing something wrong yeah. Oh well, I guess it is what it is. But that's it for you. Yeah, it's all good though. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, I understand. You you hate being called a reviewer. You're what we call a YouTube personality. You know what I'm saying? That's a different story. I totally understand that. I'm talking about. It's not even going to. I understand you're on disability, whatever, and you can't afford it. That's a different story. You and you don't like being called a reviewer. You're a YouTube personality. Understand that. But uh, you have people that will put up one video on something and then they, they're claiming to everyone, oh, I'm a reviewer. I know who these pe- a lot of these people are because they, they, they constantly message companies I deal with to try and get stuff. And a lot of these people also name drop. They throw my name in a mix. Like as if by mentioning my name... Uh, like, oh, I'm friends with Mike Vapes. Well, I have no clue who you are. Yeah. You know? And the companies message me, like, do you know this person? I'm like, I have no clue who the hell that is. Hey, I emailed Mike. Will that be good enough for me to uh, say that I actually know him now so I can get my hands on something? <sighs> I met Mike at a Vape Expo. Yeah. Uh, can I get it in for review? <laughs> it's funny, though. I mean, because a lot of these people get real pissed off. And want to do stuff, you know, what they take it personal, like they seriously take it personal, like you did something to their family or something, and they get all butter. But they're man, like, there's so many of them now that are getting butter, and I, you know, it's like, but I know a lot of them do it too because they want traffic to their channel because they have nothing going on on their channel and they want to get, you know, some viewers over, they want to get a couple of subscribers out the deal, but. You know, I, I mean, we've seen it all since we've been doing this because all the folks that are trying to stir the crap up have only been involved in this game for less than a year. And, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Billy's got it right. Billy, you're absolutely correct. Put up a review on YouTube on a product and you're... <laughs> exactly. No questions yeah, asked. all you got to do. No questions asked. You know... And, and- Trust me, we're not trying to say that nobody should be doing reviews. That's no. If you're gonna go into if you're gonna go into doing reviews, just make sure you have some money to spend. That's all. Because you're gonna be upset thinking that because you put up one video and you find out, oh shit, that nobody wants to send me anything to review. That's not the way it works. You that's all I'm trying to say. You wanna know who a hard working reviewer is? And I'm glad he's in chat right now. That's Felix. Yep. Felix yep. Felix is over 4,000 subs, way bigger than any of these other channels that are bitching, and they'll never be at his numbers. And to this day, at 4,000, a lot of companies will reach out to you, I mean now, and say, hey, would you be interested in reviewing stuff? I know for a fact Felix is still buying a bunch of stuff to do reviews yeah. on. And Felix never asks, even though he knows all of us. Yes. He easily ask my, hey, he could easily ask Mark. You know, Mark, hook me up with some stuff to review. Not once has he ever asked. No. Everyone taking, taking advantage. And I mean, Felix has even gone to the point to where a lot of people at at his numbers look at the equipment he's already bought. He's buying. He's buy. He's got some damn good cameras and stuff. So yeah. he upped his game up. He got himself a new microphone for his reviews. His new. He got his, a Sony uh, A sixty four hundred for the reviews. He upped up his whole production. Everything. I mean, at the, at the end of the day, regardless if you like him or not, he's got good videos. They're very damn good quality. 
and you know he's a hard worker at it but anyway uh check out felix yeah go check out felix vapes he's in chat he's got a wrench yep felix vapes usa click on his link give him a sub uh mark Mm -hmm. do you want to pull us up a good old randomizer let, let's do it. Let's get through this shit for this main part of this storm hits and my shit's gone. Here we go. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> I think Terry's a drag queen. I just have that feeling. Thank you for the donation. Ronnie, you need to hurry up and change your name. It's not Ronnie Cash Fapes. It's Ronnie Cash Smoke. Now, Ronnie Cash is a different story. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me read it before you go off. Uh, love you, don't. <laughs> thank you for the donation. Mad love and respect to Felix. Love the the chula. Chula. What? Roddy Cash is like the poster boy of hashtag Team <laughs> Free Shit. <laughs> Roddy's, he's like, what the hell? I'm just messing with you, Ronnie. Actually, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am. All right. So, as usual, we are doing... Oh, my good old boys from Camelot and Brad's. This is going to be U.S. residents only uh, tonight. Let's start it off with Camelot. Tonight we are going to be doing the Camelot line of e-liquid. So, Mr. Mike Vapes, can I have a number, please? I'd give you a number, but I'm not seeing too many hashtag kitty pools in chat. What's up with that? I, a lot of X ones. I, I think they're confused. They don't know whether to do X ones or kitty pools. We've eliminated X ones. It's hashtag kitty pool. All right. Until I see a screen full of kitty pool action, yep. we won't be able to pull this number yet. X kitty pool. Kitty pool. X kitty pool. Anyway, uh, we're gonna do number. Uh, hmm. Ten. Here we go. The lucky number ten is Patrick King. <laughs> Patrick King. No offense. I don't think he's able to win anymore. Because if he does win, people are going to automatically assume it's rigged. Uh, nope. Number nine was St's porn stash, but no number ten. Damn. You almost had it, St. Almost. We got a winner. Jay Schlitz. Hey, one of your Patreons again. Like the alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Is he a Patreon? No, I'm just fucking around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have no clue who Jay Sch- Schlitz. Like the the beer? Isn't there a yeah. Schlitz beer? Oh, no, not Schlitz. I thought it was Schmitz. No, it's right? Schlitz. Schlitz? I don't yeah. know. Uh, okay, there. Well, hold on one second, and I'll tell you what you need to do. So the next one... And Mike can help me with the name, so I don't have to search back on my phone. We are going to be doing for Brad's. What is the Lost Vape pod system again, Mike? The one? Ryan? No, 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 no. The oh, that one. Oh uh, shit! Hold on, I'll dig. Lot of, no, uh, what the hell is it called? It was a uh, Lost to say Lost Vape pod system, not the Orion. Yes, it is actually the. I can't remember the name now. The Lyra. 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 So we'll be doing that tonight from Brad's. Mike, can you give us one more number? Yes, 11. There we go, 11. 11. The winner is... Nobody, 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 nobody. Nobody, 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 nobody. Let's keep doing it till we get somebody. We got 10s, we got 12s, we don't have 11s. Oh, we got 11. But this... Person does not live in the states. Well, then, then don't say the name if you know they don't live in the states. Don't say the name. No, I'm certain this person does not live in the states. Okay, let's do it again. Number eleven. Oh my God, it's Jay Slitz again. Schlitz. Wow. Well, I'm sorry, you can't do two. All right, let's do it again here. Winner is Chris Pegging Peggins Peggin. Patreon. There you go. All right. All y'all need to do is contact me <laughs> at stvapes72 at gmail.com. Uh, send me a photo ID with address and birth date, and I'll get y'all squared up. If you guys definitely want to win, change your name to nobody. 
and then you'll instantly be a winner, probably. Or just become one of Mark's Patreons. Yes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Do you realize, you know, we had talked about somebody changing their name to nobody, and I still have yet. I see all kind of cool troll names out there, but I have not seen one to start using nobody. Now we'll have a ton of them probably pop up. Yep. Congratulations, nobody. Oh, uh, so anything else good happening? Um, nope. I owe these people at least one more minute so we can get a full hour in. I'm going to be like Mark. One more I minute. His pay to plays. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Rachel says, I'm a Patreon. I want to win. Rachel, I think you won one for me not too long ago. When you guys start seeing Patreons win giveaways, then you know it's rigged. Yeah. Uh, look who decides to pop in at the end of the show. Thanks, Amy. I think she's been trolling the whole time under a different name. I think she might have some troll names going on. She's been stepping nope. her game up a little bit with some stuff. <laughs> Hey, Mike, what is your current favorite 21700 mech? Vindicator. Vindicator and this one here. Freaking love this. The Tur Turin Max. Love this mech mod. Uh, HJ Withrow wants me to give him a birthday shout out. Well, you've been shouted out. Happy birthday, HJ. Oh yeah, happy birthday, man. Oh, look at that. At the very end, look what look what happens. Ronnie Cash Ronnie smokes. Ronnie Cash smokes in chat? Yes. Ronnie changed his name. Wow. Good job, Ronnie. Yeah, you forgot to change your picture over though, but yeah. I guess you'll have to load that up pretty soon. Isn't there a picture lurking around of Ronnie with a cigarette in his mouth? Yep. Uh we need to get that picture to him. Yes. <laughs> No problem. There. Look, there's a nobody vapes in here. There it is. Meanwhile, I know who it is. That's Stan Riker's picture. Yeah, it is. Stan Riker. Yes, it is. <laughs> nice. Uh, there's a good. Uh, can someone give me free <laughs> shit to the people that ask for free shit? The, the, yeah. Good idea. That'll be. We'll make it. That'll be the new trend, won't it? Yep. Like, this ain't for me. I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for somebody else. All right. So I gave you an hour. I can't believe I've gone this long. But, uh. Oh, we got to do one more question for my man, Adrian Daniels. Oh, yeah. Adrian loves my damn transitions. Uh, Adrian wants to know at Mike Vapes, is it bad to vape a 70 30 liquid in a pod? Is the vape different than a 50 50? Now. If you're gonna vape a seventy thirty, and you're planning on putting like a three or six milligram, it's not gonna be that good in a pod, depending on the pod. Yeah. So it's one of those questions that's better if I knew what device you were using. If they're very tiny coils, too thick of a liquid is not good. But if they're bigger coils. You'll you'll be fine with the seventy thirty. Yeah, seventy thirty will be thick. It won't be able to keep up. Right, and also if it's a very sweet liquid, yeah, the coil ain't gonna last. That's true. Uh, I, we had another one here. Hold on, where did that go, real quick? Caliburn. He says with the Caliburn. Oh uh, yeah, you'll get away with a seventy thirty and a Caliburn. But if it's a low nick, what's the point? Uh, it's a three milligram. Now, do they make seventy thirty in like twelve milligram, for example? I'm not sure. You know, to everybody their own on how they vape. You know, it's whatever you do. But yeah. it's kind of hard to understand why. And I've seen this from people where they're putting like, you know, three milligram in a pod system. It's like to me, it's like. What are you getting off of it? <laughs> Look, there's some people, though, that vape a three milligram MTL because they're not, it's, they're over the nicotine. They're just doing it more for the flavor. True. So I could understand that. So you'll be fine that way. 
But if you're looking, f if you need nicotine, the three milligram inside a uh, pot system won't satisfy you. Uh, well, all right, Dan. I think I've I've got about as long as I can go because I'm just not feeling it anymore, and I don't want to take any more chances here with the storm about to really crank up. So thank you for joining us. Uh, yeah, catch, <coughs> catch all the shows this week. There'll be shows. This, there'll be shows all week, and I'm certain there'll be other shows about other shows this week. So it's all <laughs> yep, good. There'll be a show right after this one too. Yeah, yeah, you'll you'll have somebody <laughs> crying about something. So go check it out. It's always it's always humorous and entertainment. I love them. But anyway, I know I didn't open it up like this, but I'm gonna end it like this for the smoothest outro in the game. Watch this shit. God damn that shit smooth. All right, folks. Thank you for watching. We will catch y'all next week if I'm still alive. Peace. <laughs> okay. the name Herpes Infected Bulk is their name. God, boy, they just hammering the shit out of you about that crap. Mm. <laughs>